What's up guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. This is not the profile we'll be playing on today, we'll be making a new profile and this is going to be the start to a shortish series, the first one I want to do and uh, I leaked this in a community post um, yesterday. Ooh, profile name is going to be Papaya, always good, that's going to be good for you. I've never had one before. And today's series or focus is going to be playing Skyblock, but only with items that came out in 2019. If you don't know, Skyblock originally uh, was created in 2019. And there's been a lot of stuff that's been added. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give myself a challenge of going through and playing Skyblock using only items for when the game first came out. Well, uh, at least the first, the first year or six months, whatever it is, before 2020. So basically any items that were added before uh, the 1st of January 2020 is fair game. And uh, <laughs> we're just going to see uh, how far we can get. I have a specific goal for this series, and that is to solo floor two of dungeons. That would mean enter it by myself and beat the second floor of dungeons completely alone. And that'll, that'll mark the end of the series. And uh, I want to say right off the bat, I do know you guys don't particularly enjoy early game. So, uh, we're going to try and make as much progress as possible. My goal is to have this series be, like, two to three episodes. So, uh, if you're worried about me spending, you know, six episodes t slaying slayers, uh, don't worry about that. My goal for this episode is to get to the end and get an aspect of the end. Yeah. And that's, like, you know, literally mid-game for this series. It's kind of insane. So, uh... If you think this is going to be some good fun, uh, do me a favor and leave a like on this video. It lets me know that you guys are, uh, well, excited for the series, and uh, I really, really hope you guys do have some fun with this. Anyways, enough us uh, sitting around here. We got some stuff to do. So, uh, obviously, we're going to need to get our combat level up, and uh, I guess the first thing we should do is go ahead and uh, unlock the bazaar, since that'll be useful. Wait. Wait, the bazaar came out in March! We can't even use the bazaar! Oh, this just got much, much more annoying. That's fine. We still have the auction house, so I guess what we should do is we should unlock the blacksmith so we get access to our forging stuff. So we're gonna just get a pickaxe and I get some coal. Something I totally spaced on is our first weapon from Jamie. Also, I have the coal, so we're ready to do that. But uh, let's get our uh, our rogue sword. Can I, can I please have the rogue sword? There we go. Uh, we'll do this to just go a little bit faster. And uh, let's just slap our forge on this with our, uh, with our 10 coal, I suppose. Actually, should I? You know what? I'll show you guys a... Tr well, I don't know if this trick works. I guess we'll see if it gets patched or not. But if we open the blacksmith, our first reforge costs 10 coal. So uh, if we do that, then we'll see that. But if you want a little trick, as long as you keep this window open, you can reforge anything you want with 10 coal. So if I wanted to do this again... Oh, never mind. It only works on one item. Oh, well. <laughs> Basically, if you keep an item in there, so if you put a legendary item in there first... Uh, you can just keep using 10 coal instead of like 20,000 coins or whatever it is to reforge it. But uh, now we have our odd rogue sword and uh, I'm going to try and get an armor set so we can end up uh, whacking some zombies and get our combat level up a little bit. I cannot begin to express how much I miss telekinesis every time I start a profile and can't use it. Please, Rusty, end, end to my suffering. Let me get telekinesis on this, on this, and this. Also have a uh, Harvesting 5 book I crafted using wheat and paper, actually. And uh, let me get some XP levels and we'll slap this on and we'll start making some good money. There we go, 23 levels. I just bought a lot of experience bottles and that's a pickaxe. <laughs> there we go. Harvesting 5, that'll give us a ton of farming fortune. And ooh, Conjurer 3 already. Ooh, let's not lose our items here. There we go. Use the access to the wizard portal. You know what that means. <laughs> That was actually plans to come out at the start of the game, and it never did, but, uh, we can clearly see from Conjurer 3 that we were meant to have access to the wizard portal, and it's directly related to enchanting. But, uh, now we can pretty much just sit here and farm and make a decent amount of money until we can buy some better gear. Now, uh, while I'm doing this, there is something I want to talk about, and that's how on earth are we supposed to complete dungeons with, uh, this old gear. Specifically being, what weapon do we use? Since for armor, it's pretty obvious we're gonna go in with dragon armor. We're gonna do a lot of frag runs on floor one and um, try and get some dragon essence. Now, I will say that I will be allowing- why is there no wheat in any of these hubs? There's not even a wheat contest going on. I will be allowing us to star items, even though that wasn't a feature that came out uh, before dungeons. Uh, but, I mean, let's be honest, there's no way this is even remotely possible without being able to star dragon armor. We will just get one shot. But the bigger concern is, what weapon do we use? The first thing that comes to mind is Aspect of the Dragons, of course. That's a pretty solid weapon. But is it really strong enough to take on Floor 2 by myself? I mean, generally, Floor 2 is decently tough. Bonzo, is Bonzo from Floor 1, 
pretty easy. But Floor 2 has like, you know, six different mini bosses at once, and then they respawn with Scarf, and it's, it's a lot tougher. So I'm not too sure. There's always, of course, we could go for the 50 mil Midas Sword. Uh, that might take a little bit too long, but you know what? It's certainly an option that I don't want to forget about. But uh, I'm thinking that we're probably going to go for the Aspect of the Dragons, because that, uh... Actually, did the 50 mil Midas come out? Uh, before? Oh, I can't even use the stupid trade thing. I actually have to go back to the hub because we don't have a cookie or anything. Oh yeah, no community shop, no bits, and no god potion because we can't use them. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, at least we get like, you know, 2,000 coins every single time we fill up our inventory with wheat. So we can start saving up and trying to get some decent armor. I'm going to try and save up for a weapon that can one-shot the Crypt Ghouls so we can start getting combat levels. Because I think the Dragon Armor has like combat requirements now. That didn't used to be how it is, but I mean... There's no way we can avoid those game mechanics now that they're already released, so we're gonna have to kind of do some combat. But uh, I've been punching the wheat too long, so I'll cut to when I'm actually done in like an hour. Wait, I'm not- I'm not allowed to go here, am I? I was gonna go over there to get some mining levels, but I just realized this certainly did not come out in 2019. So I suppose the Shroud of Mining Sand is not viable. I guess we're going back to the hub, and I gotta pick up my pickaxe and get to work, because, well, I wanted to get some better armor, and I can either, like, I guess we can check how much Lapis Armor costs on the Auction House, but I remember it being just an absolute pain when the game first came out to try and buy Lapis Armor from the Auction House, because everyone always tries to bid on it, and it ends up being a several-hour process, and honestly, I think it's gonna be a little bit faster if we just go get it ourselves. but in the meantime, I've been making this sword. Uh, it's an undead sword, so it does double damage against, uh, zombies, since we're trying to one-shot the Crypt Ghouls. And I figured I'd want some armor, and Lapis Armor has a rare rarity, so Reforges will be stronger on it. And it's pretty easy to get, so I think that's the armor I'm gonna go for, but, uh, I guess we need to do some mining first before I can unlock that. I can't eat any of these cakes. As much as I want these cakes, we can only use Portal Hub for the portals. But, uh, I need some diamonds, so if you want to know a trick on how to get down and unlock all of the layers without walking down yourself, just jump off the world. There's a reason I put my coins away. <laughs> there we go. And now we can use the lift operator to actually go ahead and, uh, wait, did I have to talk to the dude? I might have had to talk to the lift operator before, you know, jumping off the cliff, but we should be able to talk to him and just immediately warp down to the, uh, to the diamond sanctuary. Please stop talking. I just want to use your lift, please, bro. Come on. Of course, I have to go jump off the map again. There we go. Now he should let us down. And I just realized I could use lapis armor or hardened diamond. Oh, this is not good. No, that's... I forgot there are skeletons there that are do more damage than Necron. No, oh. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, let me let me get an enchantment table up and running real quick. I have befriended someone who has decided to start spamming their Dreadlord sword everywhere near me and so I don't die. <laughs> I did not talk to this guy. He just started doing it, but I guess we made it back. And the funny thing is now I pretty much have enough diamonds. I got a rare diamond, but I'm not allowed to use it as much as I want to. Uh, I'm just gonna get enough to get, like, full diamonds so we won't die to the Lapith zombies as much, I suppose. I mean, I guess. I think full diamond's an uncommon, so there we go. We're just gonna get enough to, uh, to do this. And now we can go back to our island, and not our island. We need to get a bunch of sugarcane and wood. Let me go grab my coins. And, uh, I want to put luck on this sword, so we have a higher chance of getting Lapis Armor. So, something I noticed was that Lapis Armor is actually only uncommon, and Hardened Diamond would be considered rare. So I kind of want to go for hardened diamonds, but the thing is, something that I just realized is the main way people used to make money back in 2019 was to farm summoning eyes and sell them on the auction house. Well, when the bazaar released, they made it impossible to sell a lot of things that we used to sell for money on the auction house, which means I can't do any of the intended methods that were able to be used way back in the day. So what I've decided is for the bazaar, I will not be allowed to buy any item from the bazaar, of course but I will be allowed to sell items directly to the bazaar by clicking the insta-sell button. So I won't be able to set, set up any sell orders or anything, just instant sell, and this is the closest I can get to replicating, you know, selling summoning eyes back on the auction house. And I will say, to just restrict myself a little bit further, I can't buy dragon fragments like you used to be able to buy dragon fragments on the auction house. I can't buy dragon fragments in the bazaar. I'm gonna have to buy the actual pieces from the auction house. And the second thing I want to mention real quick is the auction versus bin. I think I said a little bit earlier that uh, Bin was created after 2019, but because Bin used to not exist and it used to be everyone used the auction thing, pretty much everyone only uses Bin now, which means that there are very few items on the auction house, most of which end several days from now. 
So what I'm gonna say is, using bin is okay to use because it's part of the auction house and, well, no one actually uses the auction anymore because it was replaced by bin. So, uh, I'm gonna say it's totally okay to just go ahead and, uh, look for some pieces to, uh, to buy here like this one looks pretty great. It'll be a chest plate for 10,000 coins. And that's fine, that'll be pretty much as close as I can get to, uh, you know, placing a bid and waiting for someone to outbid me. So, uh, I know that isn't a perfect way to, to do this series, but... Just because the bazaar and bin kind of took over, there isn't really a way to use the auction house properly without this possibly taking days for the exact same result. So uh, I'm just going to farm wheat, I guess, and uh, we're going to buy a set of hardened diamond and I'll be able to farm crypt ghouls and try to unlock the end for you guys. Here's something to balance out what I just said. There are literally no hardened diamond leggings on bin right now. There are there are none. If I go to Auction House, there are some that end in, oh man, six hours. So it looks like we're gonna have to buy at least one thing from the Auction House unless I find it in bin, but like, I mean, check it out. I can't buy this on bin. That's just kind of like, you know, the thing. Sometimes people were just sniping all of the stuff and paying obnoxious prices that you couldn't buy. So maybe I will have to do a little bit of that. Oh well, uh, back to farming as I said, I'm getting distracted. I've been farming wheat for the last half hour and realized that I could be selling it to the bazaar right now because I said I could. So let's actually go get an axe and uh, unlock the bazaar real quick and not be big dumb toad. Ooh, we don't insta break them because we don't have haste. That's unfortunate, Oh man. I could go brew a haste potion, but I don't actually know we can't because we don't have any glowstone, so it wouldn't actually matter. I guess I'm doing this to foraging seven. It really, really won't take too long at all. So, uh, you know, we'll go back to the bazaar and we'll see how much we make from selling wheat to the bazaar instead. There we go. Okay, so now we should have the bazaar unlocked and we can start selling all this junk into the, uh, bazaar instead of the NPC. There we go. 6,000 coins, good stuff. And, uh... A good thing is, I think someone just bid on my lapis helmet. I couldn't actually bin it because it was an uncommon item and you can't really bin it. But uh, someone paid, you know, 10,000 coins. It could have been a lot better. I was hoping to get like 25,000 for it. But you know what? That's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles. So we're going to go over to uh, Hardened Diamond here and see what we can find. So we need, uh, ooh, leggings. Oh, you know what, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy them real quick. The leggings and the helmet. Those might, we ne never might see them again. So we're just gonna do that. And uh, there we go. Now we have a full set of hardened diamonds. I don't really care about these regular diamond leggings. Not even gonna bother to auction house them because I don't think they're gonna sell. We'll just NPC them. We'll NPC the sticks too, because why not? And here we go. Here's our first set of armor. Let's go ahead and slap some growth protection on these and uh then we can actually start breaking crypt ghouls and make our way to the end all right the moment of truth we've got pure fierce pure and pure with protection five on these pieces this one has growth luckily my sword is reforged to sharp it's not that great but will we deal 2000 damage not even remotely close that is pathetic that is a literal pathetic amount of damage that's like nothing compared to what i was doing 150 okay before I got the hardened diamond, before I reforged the sword, I did 118. Now I do 150. That's just, that's just sad. I'll, I'll be honest. That's really just kind of pathetic. I don't think we can farm the crypt ghouls for, uh, for combat XP. I think we might be a little bit under geared for this. Um, I need to think of some other stuff we can get. Like I can, I can sit here and I take so much damage still. I mean, my armor doesn't have growth, which isn't great, but like... We're taking so much, we don't have enough defense to do this properly. I don't have any kind of lifesteal or anything. So, uh, I think we're gonna need to get some more kind of something here. I almost have the, uh, spider's den unlocked. I only need, um, one more combat level for that. So we'll try to get the spider's den, but I don't know, man. Combat 12 is kind of far away to do in one episode, but I'll see what I can pull off for you guys. We're done. We're done. No more, no more stupid obsidian sanctuary mobs. I've been doing this for, uh, roughly three hours now, just slaying those guys. But you know what? It's done. It's done. Please don't die to the sneaky creeper. We can go to the end now, which is awesome. I don't know what we're gonna do in the end this episode, but uh, if we visit Portal, I guess we have the end now, so that's pretty cool. And we have combat level 12, so I think we have access to uh, using different dragon armor sets now. Uh, no, no we don't. Unstable dragon is combat 16. That's rough. Uh, I don't- oh, that guy does a lot of damage compared to me. How much damage do I do? Oh yeah, I don't- I don't know if I'll be able to kill an enter- Oh, he does have- he does have my health. That's- yeah, we're just gonna leave. We're not supposed to be here yet. 
I guess we need to um, get some dragon armor before we go over there and probably an aspect of the end as well. And uh, maybe the fairy souls too before we can even start uh, considering fighting stuff like zealots in the end. So uh, I think that's gonna be it for uh, this episode here. So uh, in the next episode, I will probably in between, I'll get a lot of money. So we'll be able to actually buy some different stuff off the auction house, like dragon armor aspect, the end and all of that. And then we'll, uh, we'll start tackling stuff in the end before we go ahead and take on dungeons. So that's it. If you enjoyed this episode and are looking forward to the rest of this series, then uh, drop a like down below. Also subscribe if you haven't already. We're pretty close to 90,000 subscribers and your support means the world to me. But uh, that's it. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.